if you don't already have it. So these are recommendations for games that most people already have. If you don't have one of these and want one, take note. 1. Monopoly If somehow you've lived this long and don't already have 25 copies of Monopoly, then I recommend getting the Hong Kong version. You might find some copies of the Special Anniversary Edition too. I think the build version also looks interesting, but to be honest, I don't really like Monopoly. Seriously, play something else. 2. Cluedo In this game, you move about a house and try to solve a murder. There are better murder mystery games out there like 13 Dead End Drive, which is amazing, but Cluedo is a classic. This bilingual version looks pretty nice. 3. Uno Again, if somehow, somehow this has passed you by, then I recommend the basic version, or the cool dark themed anniversary edition. This big box version is mostly, well, box. Like Monopoly, this is a standard in most bedrooms, but unlike Monopoly, Uno is actually a great game. 4. Othello This is my favourite abstract strategy game. Try to get the big box version and avoid ones like this, which don't have very nice boards. The feeling of turning over these big smooth chips is fantastic, so do it right. Oh, and this little travel version looks cool, but actually it's very tiring to play. Avoid. 5. Battleship There are a few new versions of this floating around, like this space version, which isn't very good. Honestly, the grab-and-go version is the best. Simple and effective, just like the game itself. Card games and stocking fillers. 1. Saboteur. My family loves playing this game, and it's small enough to bring to a barbecue. Work together to create a tunnel to the gold, but one player may be working against the others to steal it for themselves. I didn't see this on the shelves today, but it's on the website, or just go to another toy shop or game store. 2. Monopoly Bid This game uses blind auctions, which is where you bid for properties, but you don't know what other people are bidding. Even though I'm not a fan of Monopoly, I like this card game a lot. It's bilingual too, which means you can play it with, you guessed it, Grandma. 3. Call of Nature this is a card game about being desperate for the toilet. I have the Japanese version and the Hong Kong version. It's pretty good, even though it's about, well, poo. I didn't see it in store, but it is on the website. Number four, play pop brand games. So Toys R Us have always had their own versions of games. They used to be called Pavilion, but now they seem to be called Play Pop Brand. I've already recommended Mancala in this series, but some of the others are pretty good too. 5. Grab and Go These are small, travel-sized versions of classic games like Connect Four and Hungry Hungry Hippos. Again, I've already recommended Battleship, and others like Trouble, Cluedo, and Guess Who are great too. And there you have it. You've got all of the information you need to make sure that you get the board games you really want. Oh, and also remember that Christmas is about, you know, giving and being kind and, and being with family and, and, and stuff. Yeah, that, that, that's actually more important than asking for, for presents, really. <clears throat>